fast demonstration using the procedure Survey Select for random sampling. So in this demonstration I'm going to introduce you to the SAS utility Survey Select and this is how you will take a random sample of a large data set that I'm going to provide you with that you will then analyze for your project. But for this demonstration we are going to work with the data set called OWEN which was a study of the nutritional status of 1006 preschool children conducted at the University of Michigan in the 1970s. So here we're reading in the data set and we looked at this data set before in a demonstration much earlier in the course. So we'll do a proc contents of this data set initially. So in this data set, work.owen, we have 1006 observations and 19 variables. Now let's say I am interested in taking a simple random sample of 20 observations from this Owen data set. So I'm going to make use of the SAS utility called Survey Select. So we're going to start our statement PROC Survey Select and the first option we need is to indicate the data set that we're using. So we're using data equals Owen, so we're using a temporary data set here. The method of random sampling that we're going to use is SRS, which stands for a simple random sample. REP stands for replicate, and it indicates the number of samples that you want. So we're only interested in one simple random sample from this data set Owen. And the SAMP size is 20, so we want to randomly select 20 observations from this larger data set. Our seed is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so if we ran this utility over and over again, the exact same random sample would be selected. If we wanted a different random sample selected each time, then we would set seed equal to zero. And then the name of the data set that we're creating is called Owen 20. And then we have a second statement, ID underscore all underscore and what that tells SAS is to include all the variables from the initial data set Owen on our new data set Owen 20. So all of the variables that were on the larger data set are going to be on our new data set that was a simple random sample of the main data set. And so PROC Survey Select doesn't generate any output all it's doing is creating an output data set. And then with PROC PRINT, we are going to look at our simple random sample of 20 from this larger data set. So let's take a look at the data set that was generated by PROC Survey Select. So here we have a data set of 20 observations called Owen 20. And these are the variables that are included on the data set. So all of the variables that were on the original Owen data set are included, plus a new variable that they call replicate. Since we said rep equals one, only one data set was generated for us. So PROC Survey Select is an excellent SAS utility for quickly generating a simple random sample from a larger data set. Cody and Smith give a more elaborate way of selecting a random sample which makes use of the RANUNI function. And so I decided to include that code just so you could see how you could have actually written the program to produce a random sample. Again, I want to stress that this is not the way that you are going to generate the simple random sample for your project. For your project, you will make use of PROC Survey Select but to give you a slightly different viewpoint of how a random sample could be generated where you actually write the code, I'm demonstrating this example. So here, using this second method, we're creating a data set called Owen 20 underscore 2. And we're bringing in the original 1006 observations, the data set called Owen. And we're saying if ran uni of 0 is less than 0 0.0199. So every time that we bring in an observation 
for that observation, we're generating a random number. And if that random number is less than 0 0.0199, we're going to keep that observation in our data set. And the reason I'm saying 0 0.0199 is that we're going to be processing 1,006 observations. That's our sample size. 0 0.0199 times 1,006 equals 20. So most of the time, we'll end up with a data set of about 20 observations. So let's print out this new data set that we've created. And we're just going to print out a couple of variables, fam, num, age, and sex, and see what this data set looks like. So here we have a simple random sample of 20 from the Owen data set. Except notice that it's not 20 observations. We only got 11 observations. And the reason we only got 11 observations is, again, we're making use of that ran uni function. So we can't guarantee that if we process 1,006 observations that exactly 20 of those observations will have a random number that's less than 0.0199. Also notice that I used the seed 0. So let's see what happens if I ran this code again, how big our data set would be. So we're going to run this exact same code. And notice now we get a data set of 27. So when we processed 1,006 observations, 27 of them had a random number that was generated, which was less than 0 0.0199. Let's say that we wanted to generate a simple random sample from this larger data set that had exactly 20 observations. So the code is going to be slightly different for that. So here I'm now creating a data set called Owen Rand. I'm bringing in the data set Owen, and I'm creating a variable y, which is equal to Rand uni of 0. Then I'm going to sort that data set by y. It's similar now to what we did with the example where I had the data set word 1 to word 9. I'm going to sort this 1006 observations by this new variable y, which is a random number. And then I'm going to just select out those observations that were the first 20 read into this new data set, Owen Exact 20. So basically what I've done, let me repeat again, I've created a data set, Owen Rand. And on that data set, I've included a new variable, y equals Rand uni of 0. So it's assigning a random number y to every observation. Then I'm sorting the data set by this random number. And then I'm creating another data set, Owen Exact 20. And I'm only keeping the first 20 observations from the sorted data set. So if we run all this code, now we have a data set that's a simple random sample of exactly 20 from the Owen data set. Again, I'm just showing you this code because it was in your Cody and Smith textbook, but the most efficient way to take a simple random sample is with the procedure PROC Survey Select. So that's the procedure you will use to take a random sample of this large data set that I'm going to be posting for your project.